Good morning. So my roommates did get back around 3 or 4 a.m. last night from Halloween, so we're going to check into them. How you guys feeling? You guys aren't hungover? Fine. <laughs> that was gonna be more exciting. So it's Sunday. That means there's uh, 14, 13 days left. And I have to weigh myself, but I, usually I don't drink water. I did drink a little bit of water, so uh, this is what my body looks like as of, what can you guys see? As of right now. Okay. A little bit of water over there. And then we're going to weigh myself right here. I'm gonna put the phone down right here. Just so it doesn't get extra. So I was at 181 yesterday. And you can see I'm at 178. So a little, little bit of weight loss, which is good. Uh, a lot of water weight probably too, but uh, so far so good. It is an off day, so you're not going to see a lot of videos from me today. Uh, so hopefully I'll just catch you on day three. I'm just going to enjoy myself, relax, eat my proper meals, and then go from there. Have a good Sunday, guys. Go Cowboys. Woo! Good morning. Day number three. Yesterday, I uh, just watched football, didn't lift or anything like that. And just to recap, yesterday I think I was at 178. Uh, so let's go weigh myself right now. And I'm going to put this down right here. So you can see that I went down a little bit more, which is okay. I might be dropping a little bit too much weight, so I might have to just kind of calm down on my cardio. I hit it pretty hard, and this is what I look like today. So. So they were. So it's 7.30, breakfast time. This is what I usually would I start out with. Right here, I have my multivitamins. And then I have over here, some, uh, some like vitamin C, glucosamine, to help with the joints. And then my first gallon of water. Got eggs cooking right now. Some oats, and then my coffee. Beautiful day here. Just uh, coming to work. Been my 8-10 fitness. See it? Beautiful. I love it. We well, shirt too, pretty sick, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So when you're in here, the building, this is my uh, my little drawing wall, just so the members can see all the beautiful art. And then here, yeah, let me just show you a little bit more of my gym. And then we have a cardio section right here. We have machines. We got two little trains right there. Chase is right there. Sandro's right there. Look at that guy. And the rest of the layout is right over here. And bathroom section. And then check this section out. We have our synergy dumbbells. Pretty legit. Pretty legit. Pretty legit. Almost there. And yoga room. This is why I love it. This is why I love this gym. All right, so we got Wednesday. So we got a nice help there. That means uh, back at two, so I can be with Chris. Chris and I are actually going to be working out a little bit more often, too, so get ready for that. This guy's bulking thing. Of course, I got uh, my competition, or my prep, my competition kind of. So the first thing for our back day, we're actually going to do a little bit of machine for our pull downs. Um, I'm going to go a little bit heavier just because I actually lost a little bit more weight than I expected. So we're going to do a whole range of motion. I'm actually going to just try to do a shorter range uh, for the uh, other So.
Uh, we're actually going to go a little bit more isolated. So we're going to be doing uh, more of the rails at incline uh, with the dumbbells. So we want to keep this the back a little bit more strict and isolated. So I like to lean my chest right against the bench. If you guys want to do kind of uh, a standing up one, use a, uh, an upward momentum. I don't like to use that. I want to keep it very strict because we're weightlifting heavy. So my range of motion is going to be up. I'm going to bring it down very slightly just to make sure that we're stretching back. So we're going to do our next one is we're doing a superset. So a superset is actually when you do a workout followed by another one without hardly any rest period. So uh, we're doing machines. So Chris and I are going to actually be doing the seated row. So we're going to isolate a little bit more in the back again, heavy, so eight to ten. Then we're going to go right into our next uh, position cue, just of course get more of a lat. And you can see where it isolates. What we do in a lat pull, hold on very strict. So come over here. My grip, we're not outside, we're going inside for the tuck. So we'll go. Doing our back attack, uh, what do we do, Chris? Like just one pull up? Yeah. Just to finish? So, you know when you're exhausted when you do that primary day and you can't even do a single pull up, okay? So, that's how you can test yourself. Uh, a lot of people ask me too, what do you do after your workout? Like, how do you make sure that you're sustaining your, the right protein and how to recover correctly? So, what I do, I'll put, of course, you know, drink enough water. Um, and not only that, I will actually use the scoop of protein. This is actually one of my favorites, ISO 100. It breaks down and goes into your muscles the quickest. It's a um, hydro, it's a hydrolyzed whey protein. We'll go into that uh, maybe in a supplement version. So I'll use one scoop, and that's usually around 25 grams of protein. And then food. Food is essential in recovery. So as you can see too, I have fish, I have some spinach, and then my carb intake because we just use a lot of energy. So I use a lot of sweet potatoes also, a serving, a serving, and then maybe four to six ounces of fish. So that's how I replenish my meal and how you can sustain energy throughout uh, your work week or even your work day. So, got done with back day, had a great day. I'll see you guys pretty soon.